Hello and welcome to another episode of Pork Openings. Today we have, as usual, a plethora of different things uh, to kind of go through. So in front of us, just to briefly break down, we've got a Zakian V uh, tin. We've got a Galar Power Mini tin, I believe. And eight packs of Battle Style, which is the newest set that came out. So the reason I've kind of got a bit of a mix and a bit of a mix of age is that... Um, Recently in Britain, the kind of lockdown rules uh, eased a little bit and a lot of shops could start selling old product again and one of the things I discovered was a Zakian V tin which is from about a year or two um, ago now so this is actually kind of exciting and same for this, there's, there's been a new, um, there's been two new tin sets I think since this so that's kind of hype. So today we're going to kind of go through all of them I'm going to keep Battle Stills till the end, I think, because that's the newest um, set. And a friend's opened some, I've seen some of the cards, but I'm still kind of excited. Um, I'm going to put that off to the side. So I think we're going to start small, go big, and then go small uh, again, I guess. Um, so without further ado, let's crack into this. So I can't remember the name of this product. It'll say on the back in a second. There's a very strong security seal on it. I can't even remember what packs are in this. I want to say maybe Vivid Voltage, right? Am I am I correct in saying that? I don't... Oh, hang on. I, I'm going to have to go and undo this. I'll be obby. Hey, right. I finally got off. My God, that was uh, well packaged. Indeed, this is a Galar Power Mini tin. Now, Admittedly, I did pay over the odds for this, but I kind of bought it just because Toxtricity was on the front. Um, I think they had actually had one of each design there, so that was kind of cool. Uh, but Toxtricity is probably my favourite Pokemon from uh, newest generation, so I was like, well, I might as well. I'm probably not going to see these around uh, in the wild, especially. So we've got to... Uh, uh, oh, okay, it's a like gold speckled lichen rock, uh, sun form, I think is what it's called. Pretty cool. Now ah, we've got the two packs, so we've got a Darkness Ablaze, very nice. I think that doesn't that have the uh, super rare Charizard that everyone's after, and a Sun and Moon base set. And if it wants to come out, hey, we have a full art version. Well, it's not full art, you know what I mean, it's the art from the tin. There we go, bit of, bit of a better angle. And that's the info at the back if you want to pause and read in. Wow, he's five foot three. Okay. Actually, actually a little bit shorter than I thought he'd be. Uh, right, let's close that tin up and we'll go into these packs first. I should have put the coin back, but it's too late now. I'm going to move the plastic from the side there. Right, we'll do Sun and Moon base set first and then on to Darkness Ablaze, I guess, which is... Uh, of course the sword, sword and Shield set, okay. Don't know why, in my mind it was, I thought it was a Sun and Moon set. Um, sun and Moon base, I'm not even sure what the big hitters are. Probably like Solgaleo and Lunala GX, or maybe um, a full art trainer, potentially. I'm sure that probably, oh I think there's a Lily, isn't there? Um, right, so. Let's begin with a Psychic Energy. We've got a Crushing Hammer, very nice. Hey, I love that Poliwhirl art. He's, he's really clean and just simple, which is very nice. Hey, Dragonair. I swear I've seen that art before in like Dragon Majesty, but I could be wrong. We've got a Lolan Diglett. He's a good boy with a tuft of hair. We've got a Marini, very cute. Hey, a crab roller. I really like crab roller. I like the um, Sylvester Stallone face he's got. We've got, oh man, yeah, there's that really derpy but kind of cute Eevee, I guess. I don't know. Hey, a Sandy Gast. Very cute. And I think the reverse, ooh, reverse Hariyama. I'll take that. That's pretty cool. A reverse rare. And our rare is a Tsarina. Oh, wait, is it? Yeah, it is hollow. Wow, that's a very subtle hollow there. That's, uh, oh, yeah, wow, okay. I mean, kind of cool, though. Hey, you know, a hollow is never bad. I don't think I have that card either, so... Win-win, I suppose. Uh, so, yeah, that was Sun and Moon base set. Next up is Darkness Ablaze. 
Wait, no, was it? Um, oh, wait, no, yeah, Darkness of Bleed. I'm sure. No, what's the one with the Charizard then? It is Darkness of Bleed, right? I don't know, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, if it's Sword and Shield, it's not. Actually, no, it's a Galar Power Tin, obviously. It's going to have Sword and Shield, isn't it? Because it's from Galar. Right, let's begin. Can we pull anything lit and fi fire from this pack? Uh, well, we'll begin with a Vibrava, which is pretty cool. I like Vibrava. We've got Gar Gotharita, another Stage 1 Pokemon. Can we get... Oh, Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. Very cute. Very, very nice. Oh, and there's a little Wooloo there. and a, uh, um, Yeah, but very, just very nice overall. We've got Jigglypuff in a field of flowers. Ducklet, uh, kind of just chilling with other ducklets, I guess, and saying hi. It's been a while since I've seen Ducklet, actually. Or Swanna, for that matter. you got that cute Carablast. I remember this card. A Galarian da Darumaka, not Darmanitan, which I keep wanting to say. We Oh, oh that's a really cute Pupita. He's just like in the garden, tending to flowers or something. You might want to watch yourself, Lavatar, with uh, pouring water from a can, because that is super effective against you. Hey, we've got a reverse Persimian. I really like Persimian. He's, uh, he's an underrated monkey, I think. And our Roke! Hey, hey, hey! Holy fudge! Okay, um, cool! Wow, wow! Okay, hey, well, thank you uh, for your... En Where's the fire energy gone? Ah, there we are, yeah. Yo, okay, just going to double check something. Okay, cool. So th th this is a, it's just the, like the regular VMAX, if that makes sense. It's 20 out of 100 and whatever. So like, it's not, it's not a super rare, but this is basically... Uh, this, but in rainbow, is the big one for the set. That's the secret rare, obviously. Yo, but I will take this. I I will for sure take that. That is damn cool. All right then. Yo, I well, <laughs> I did call for a Charizard, and man, did this. I'm really glad I bought this tin. No, I um I picked it up, and it was kind of in two minds because it was like well, nine pounds, two packs. I mean. Whatever, it's, it'd been a while since I'd seen Pokemon cards in the wild, so I think I was, you know, under the influence of that, but damn, that was, that was worth it. All right then, well, let's get on to this Zakian V tin. So I think this is Zakian and Zamenzenta. I don't think there's a third Pokemon. I was confused as me, because I'm so used to the tin releases having three promos now, that when there's like, Two. It feels weird, but you know. Uh, actually, hang on. Let me move this to the side. There we are. Cool. We've got a bit more focus. So, as I mentioned on the back, there is like four packs and stuff. Yeah, one of two foil promos. Fair enough. Then uh, that's the that's the cover with our embossed sword doggy boy. We've got ah back to plastic. So this is before they switch to uh, cardboard backing and stuff. That is the Zakian V promo, very much digging that. Just want to double check as well, that is indeed a promo and not just a kind of uh, a card from a set because I know a few of these tins, the Galarian Slowbro one actually um, was straight up just a V from one of the sets as opposed to a promo card, which I'm not as big a fan on. Uh, right, cool, that's, that's that, let me put that there. Now let's go through a pack. So we got Rebel Clash, pretty cool. Rebel Clash again, so this must be when Rebel Clash came out, I think. Got Sword and Shield, and we got an Evolutions booster as well. That's pretty hype, actually. The uh, the investor in me is shouting, no, don't open it, but I, I will open it. However, because Evolutions is pretty hype, I'm going to go in the order of... We're going to go Sword and Shield first, and then Rebel Clash, I think, and then Evolutions. Um, so it's been a while since I've opened any evolutions. So, Sword and Shield base set. Now, we got a Sarina from it just now in the Galar mini tin. Can we one up 
that hollow. Um, I'm going to say no. I reckon we're going to pull a non-hollow rare. But I have been wrong in the past. And to be honest, that Charizard uh, is still kind of like impressing me a lot. Right? I still can't believe... Uh, do you know, it's been a while since I've actually pulled a Charizard card. Not even just like the super rare ultra, you know, ones. Right, let's begin with the water energy. Straight into a thwacky monkey pull uh, among some friends. That is a running, a, a running sign that you are not going to pull anything good. We've got a Poker Gear 3.0. I don't remember. Mm, I don't. Yeah, I don't really remember. Oh, yo! Hello. I've never seen this before. Aurora Energy. That's really cool. I'm digging that. Yo, if I could pull this um, reverse hollow, that'd be really nice, actually. We've got a Mudbury, yay. We've got a Hoot Hoot, ooh, really like the uh, lighting on that Hoot Hoot. That's really nice. We've got a Pinchurchin, Pincurchin, Pincurchin. I've always called her a Pinchurchin, and I don't know why. Uh, hey, we've got a cute Vulpix. Uh, we've got a Nicket in the city. Uh, oh, okay, Reverse Joltic. That is actually pretty cool as well. I love reverse electricities. That was like a bit golden, don't they? And a rare <laughs> is a lantern. I called it. It is a non-hollow rare. But you know, lantern's pretty cute. And I feel like I don't have that card, but I could be wrong. Um, it is hard to keep track of all these things. So I'm going to move Z uh, Zakian back there. So we've got two Rebel Clash. Now, I'd call it a Toxtri Toxtricity VMAX, I guess. That would be nice. Um... Trying to think of what else is in Rebel Clash. I've opened a few packs of it, but like the Sword and Shield set, I haven't opened a ton of, to be honest. Um, part, yeah, no way, because yeah, like Unifying Binds and stuff was uh, Sun and Moon, wasn't it? I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. We've got an Electric Energy to begin the Rebel Clash. We've got a Hatrum. Very cute. We've got a uh, Karkul. <laughs> Karkul is such a weird Pokemon. I love it. Ooh, beware. That's cool. Really liking that one. Uh, ah, we got a very cute Sirskate in the water there, making ripples. Yay, a Stuffle to go with that beware. Got a Coughing with a... Is he up to the gym, I think, I guess? Oh, Impy Dimp. Uh, yay. I'm not a big fan of Impy Dimp, I'll be honest. We, oh no, uh, I thought this is the reverse. We've got a Shinx. Oh, very angry Shinx. Uh, oh, ooh, our reverse is... Is it a Caterpie? But, oh, right, okay, it's the moon. That's... That's really cool. I really like that Caterpie. Yo, that's like... That's legit a really cool piece of artwork there. That's, that's harkening back to that episode of the original anime series, isn't it? And it stared at that moon that night? I can't remember. And our rare uh, is a wish cash. Uh, non non hollow. But you know, he he doesn't he doesn't look bothered, to be fair. He he looks like he's it's a living and you know, just kinda just chilling. Right, next Rebel Clash pack. Alright, it's one of the uh, Ultra Beat no. It's not an Ultra Beast, is it? No, I, I was like, oh yeah, it's um Cartana, but no, it's, uh, I can't remember his name, Sobble's Evolution, Inteleon. Um, actually, did Rebel Clash have the start of VMAX things? Can you get, like, Sniper Inteleon? That's a, that's a strange old one, isn't it? We live in a world where one of the Pokemons is certified just a Sniper. Um, right, cool, Ooh, Fighting NG, we've got, uh, we've got a... A mix of energies today, which is pretty cool. We've got a scoop up net, a Heracross, very nice. <laughs> oh wow, that's really cute. Oh, Electrode. I, I love Voltorb and Electrode. And I've said this way too many times in poke openings now, but there's just something really simple but charming about them. We've got a uh, magma kind of bending over, and that's that's a weird. It's a weird pull. Oh, we got Electabuzz, which is like next to it in the Pokedex, I feel like, right? It's like Magma Electabuzz Jinx. No. Uh, we've got a Squovit. Yay, cool. 
We've got a very interested looking snow though, very shocked. Oh, okay, fair enough. Hey, there we are, we got a reverse Shinx from the last pack. Ah, now a last Rebel Clash rare pull. Is a Pro Bowl pass, no, it's not hollow. The, oh, okay, fair enough. I definitely, I definitely do not have this card. Um, Pro Bowl pass. I'm surprised there's so many Pro Bowl pass cards. Like, it, who, is he, is he popular? Right, uh, last up then is an Evolutions pack with Raichu in the front. Now, I'm always mildly hesitant with this because I've got a lot of cards from Evolutions already, but there's always the chance of pulling like uh, an EX or um, or potentially that Hollow Charizard, which is just a rare. It's not a secret rare or anything, it's straight up a rare in this set, so that's interesting. XY is 3 to the front. Just remember that in time. There's no energy. Hey, right then. Polywill. Oh man, that. I love Polywill. Hey, Brock's Grit. Fun fact, I have two secret rares of Brock's Grit. Uh, it's, the, it's the only full art secret rares I have, actually. We've got Professor Oak's Hint, which is indeed just called Professor Oak in the in base set and stuff. Ooh, we've got a Fire Energy Man. That takes you back, just to like, you know when you see energies and you don't really appreciate how much they've changed? Like, look at that, It, it's a world of difference, but I love the like, old school 3D effects and stuff. Uh, right, hey, Voltorb, classic. We've got a Charmander, another classic of course. A hey, Diglett, what can we get for the reverse? Oh, it's not the reverse, okay. Uh, we've got Ghastly in that, man, cutting edge 3D. Look at that. That looks like it's a Pixar film, doesn't it? And the reverse. It is a magic harp. <laughs> All right, cool. Of anything I'd want a reverse of, it's obviously magic harp. He, he's such a derpy fish. And our rare is a dugong, which is, you know, not, not amazing. But hey, look, it's, uh, you know, I do this for you guys. And by you guys, I mean mostly me and hopefully maybe you guys watching right now. Hey, Tim. Hey, Tom. Hey, Dan. Uh, right, let's put those to the side. Let's put this to the side and the Zakian V to the side. So nothing crazy from that tin, but, you know, still, still kind of cool. Uh, actually, BRB. All right, and now on to battle styles. So I ordered this from a store specifically so I'd get one of each pack design uh, and ordered two bundles because this came to fairly cheap and essentially I've got the pack amount of an elite trainer box and I think it worked out I was saving something like 13 pounds or whatever. And whilst I really like elite trainer boxes, there's nothing I was really desperate for. So I thought, hey, I'll just get the packs. So we're going to burst into, first of all, is the um, Rapid Strike, I want to say, is the water type of Urshifu. So, as I've said, this is my first delve into battle styles, so I don't, I don't know what I'm looking for or anything. Oh, well, I know what I'm looking for, rather. I've seen the hype cards, but I may take a little while just to, just to inspect the cards. So we start with the grass. Hey, and a Gliscor. It's very nice. So I know the, um, it's kind of the gimmick with the set is a lot of these Pokemon have battle, uh, like, or fighting styles. So we, we'll come across those as we go. We've got an Indeedy. Very cute. We're making some, some coffee. F fair enough, I suppose. Hey, we've got Phoebe, who is obviously the fighting style, uh, fighting type gym leader. So it makes sense. So Elite Four. Wasn't she, Phoebe? I think, right? I can't remember. We've got a very cute male Frillish. Very nice. I like Frillish. Hey, there we go. We got Houndo and he's single strike. So I want to see Dark is single strike and Water is rapid strike. I think uh, I went for rapid strike, which is the Water one. We've got a Scatterbug. Kind of cool, I suppose. We've got a Hon Edge. Uh, oh, Ambush. Okay, just chilling by a tree. Hey, we got a Gligar. There we are. I've got my full uh, Gligar Evolution line in one pack. Uh, our reverse is a Bruxish. Uh, 
Bruxish, it, Bruxish is a rare in this set as well. That's something to look forward to. Ah, now a rare is a Salazzle. Yo, I'm really liking the background there. That's like... It's a little bit trippy, isn't it? That's uh, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm kind of liking that. Well, there we go. So, nothing crazy to start us with, but, you know, that's one out of eight packs. Our chances can only go up. That's not, that's not how it works at all. So, next up, we've got Empoleon, um, who obviously is Rapid Strike, I guess, because he's uh, water type. So actually, oh actually, yo, no, there is one card I really want from this set, and that is Octillery. Because uh, I really like Octillery, and he doesn't feature in many sets. So, uh, any representation for best octopus boy, oh, I say best octopus boy, there is Graplock now, isn't there? Oh god, yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Okay, right, let's put that in the back. Water, ooh, will this be a sign of things to come? We've got a Fero. We've got a Grump. Whoa, okay, that do oh, that's strange artwork. Wow, that's my camera's picking that up as a face. What the heck is going on? Okay, hey, single strike scroll of scorn. That's a that's a mouthful. Ah, right. oh, cool. And if you attach it to a Pokemon, uh, for each damage count on. Oh, yo, that's really cool. So you like give the scroll to a single strike Pokemon, and it does. That's pretty good, actually. That's Outrage, isn't it, in the game? Um, nice. We've got a Blip Bug. A Silly Cobra. A the Houndor again, who's really training. Fair play to him. <laughs> oh, yo! Okay, so uh, a, fr a friend of mine, Tim, he pulled one of these. And I am thoroughly happy I have as well. I love that art. I Licky Tongue's just like, he's such a weird Pokemon. Oh, we've got Horsey, uh, Spring Water, and a nice arc. Our reverse is a Mien Shao, a uh, Rapid Strike. I thought he'd have been a single strike, but okay. Fair enough. Really liking that art, actually. I like the, um, well, the stamp. It's not a stamp, but you know what I mean? Over the art as well. Ah, no, a rare is a Lurantis. Uh, very nice. Not really... See, I kind of expected a lot of the rares... Um, to have their style, if that makes sense, like to have chosen one, but I don't know. So this is a single strike Urshifu now, I think, which is the dark type. I think that's that's it, right? Yeah, it is white though. Is it, isn't that the shiny? No, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it changes. Does it change to white when it V maxes? I think I don't know. I I didn't have the single strike Urshifu, so. Technically, I wouldn't know. Uh, right, four to the front, pack to the back, fire energy. No, psychic, fair enough, I was wrong. Oh, wait, no, 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 Bruxish is um, uncommon. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. There is no danger of pulling Bruxish in the last uh, slot, then. That's cool. Ooh, liking that Bufalon. Urn of Vitality. That's really cool. That's a single strike card. So I'm guessing as well, like, all of the cards of the stamps on can only be used with certain Pokemon. I'm really liking that, though, like, faction kind of things. A bit like Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, yo, Mankey, that's cool. Oh, Mawile. Yo, we're getting a strong single strike pack here. Okay, we haven't kept it up. But we got Fomantis to go with Lurantis, so that's pretty cool. Hey, we got a Remory. <laughs> Remoraid Rapid Strike. I I guess he's training or something. That's like the tower, isn't it? The background. Oh, we got a Spiro who's maybe training is as well. I don't know. Yo, okay, look at that. So that's Rapid Strike Energy and like Reverse. Yo, that's cool. I really like that, both like art art wise and just shininess wise. Oh, and that's cool. That's like. It's got, why has it got two symbols there? I don't know, but th those are hollow. That's really cool, man. Okay, very nice. Wherever this rare is now. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho! I did not know. Okay, our boy Cricketune got a V card, dude. Okay, so he's not a, he's not from a school of, uh, you know, fighting style. 
Oh, okay. Oh, I love Cricketoon. He's such a weird Pokemon. I didn't know he had a V card. Oh, okay then. Well, oh, I'm happy with this already. This has been a great pack. Yo, let's go and his eyes are hollow and stuff. Very nice. All right, that, that caught me off guard. That, I wasn't expecting that. I did not know about Cricketoon V. Uh, right, on to Tyranitar. Who is probably a uh, single strike because he's dark type, right? I'm guessing Pokemon kind of go along with their elements as well. You know, I'm, I'm guessing you're not going to get like a water type that's single strike and vice versa, but I don't know, could be wrong. Four to the front, pack to the back. Let's go, Ooh, psychic again, okay. Will I pull a V again? No, I'll pull a Phoebe again. No, that, that doesn't work. Uh, we've got a Heatmo. Kind of kind of cool. He looks a bit re really derpy there. Hey, Firo to go with that Spiro earlier. Uh, a Cheruby. Aw, oh, very cute. Oh, that Pachirisu doesn't look very happy, does it? It looks a bit... Oh, looks a bit of a rush. I hope you're okay, Pachirisu. We've got a Chimeco. Oh, Chimeco, 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 I call it. That Honedge again. That Horsey again. Our oh, reverse is that Scatterbug. Kind of cool, I guess. And our rare. Ooh, is Colossal Hollow. Oh, yo, that's... Ooh. Okay, that Hollow effect makes the sky look like red and like it's, the sun is setting or whatever. That's really cool. I, I hope that's coming along, coming across okay on camera. It looks to be, but yeah, that's that's a really nice effect, actually. I'm digging that. Hey, there we are. So we pulled one V and a hollow so far out of four packs. That's pretty good going. So we're going to continue on this way. So we're back to the uh, rapid strike Urshifu now, I think. Again, if I'm wrong, uh, just switch it around, what I'm saying, basically. So, ooh, we've got one Pokemon that knows a fighting style. Why is that not? There we go. That to the front. Sorry, that off to the side, rather, not the front. And we've got fire. Will we get fire? Oh, no, I've, I've used that. I've used that phrase already in this video once. We did go Charizard V, though, so... I don't know, man, maybe. Uh, we've got a Durant. A Purug... Oh, I haven't seen a lot of these Pokemon. Okay, we got a Purugly. Oh, a Tool Jammer. Very nice. Interceptor Pokemon tools. Hey, there we are. Tepig with the um, single strike thing. Oh, nice. He's he's attacking an, an Embo. That's cool. Uh, Pig Knight, sorry. Not Embo. That's pretty cool. Okay. So I'm guessing the Pig Knight card will, like, him versus, like, uh, an Embo or something? I don't know. Hon Edge again. Oh, yo, that Electabuzz. That Electabuzz is cool. Haymaker. Yeah, boy. This reminds me a bit of the Furious Fist set, which I really liked, which is all about, like, Pokemon who are physical, I guess. Oh, self-destruct on Baltoy. Okay. Interesting move. Here we got that Gligar again, who's, like, really... He, he's really light, if that makes sense, you know? Oh, a reverse of that horsey. Nice. I'll take that. That's pretty cool. And a rare. Oh, it's a Vivian. Hello. Wow, it's been it's been quite a while since I've seen a Vivian as well, actually. It's uh, a bit of an underrated Pokemon. I tried to collect as many Vivian as I could in X and Y. That, that did take a while, actually. Because um, most of it was just wonder trading until I got... A Scatterbug or a Vivian, like, fully evolved from another country. Uh, I, I think I've got, like, three or four of them, but there's, like, 18 versions or something. I did get the limited Pokeball one, though, which is pretty cool. Uh, which kind of had red on top and white on the bottom. That was, uh, that was probably a little bit hard to get now, I imagine, because the event is long since gone. Although there are cloners out there. Anyway, let's stop going down a rabbit hole and get on to fighting energy, which is what they're all about. Uh, f fighting, not energy. We've got a Spooper. Hey, there we are. Hey, Gliscor again. 
Oh, yo, Bruno. Okay, that's cool. He's a single strike guy. You've got that Pachirisu again. We've got the Cherubi. Very nice. Oh, nice. Mien Fu to go with that Mien Shao. <laughs> oh, wow. Yo, he's he's proper stretching. He's like between two logs. Double, double dra stab. Double stab? Yeah, double stab. Oh. Okay, then. Slightly violent, but hey. Um... We've got a silly cobra. Oh, a Galarian Mr. Mime, who is what I think of when I think of Pokemon getting ready to fight, I guess. We've got a Tapu Bulu. The Tapus are in this set? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, nice. Always good to have a Tapu card, I suppose. And a rare. Oh, yo! Galarian Sl Oh, man! Damn, that's a cool looking card. Galarian Slowbro, that's that's nice. So is that how is that how uh, a Galarian Slowpoke evolves? I guess by like having a shell to bite its arm or whatever, because it looks like it's got bite marks and stuff. Splattering poison, unhinged hammer. That's really cool. I, I know it's not really like a, a hollow or anything, but just that that bit of art is really nice. Now. We've got two packs left, so we got Urshifu single strike again. Can we pull one more cool card? Like a, a, a V a V would be really nice. A V Max, even better, I guess. Um you know, or a suit or a full art or a secret rare, that would be the icing on the cake, but I'm I'm not I'm not holding out any hope. The icing on the Alchromy. Wait, yeah, Alchromy is the the evolved one, isn't it? Yeah? Oh wow, okay, three psychics out of these eight, uh, seven packs so far. <gasps> Your boy, it's Rapid Strike Style Mustard. Nice. Mustard was really cool. I like the uh, the Isle of Armour. Oh, we've got Cheryl, who is... Is Cheryl his, like, wife, right? That works in the dojo? She's the one you give the watts to, I think. No? I don't know. We've got Heatmo. Hey, Shink. Oh, he's Rapid Style. We got we got rapid style Shinx. Okay, I'm, I swear there's another Shinx in this set though, right? That doesn't have a fighting style. I don't know. We got Blipbug. We've got Ponyard. We've got Single Strike Monkey. Ooh, a Sizzlepede. <laughs> One of those like kind of cute uh, clay model Sizzlepeds. Very nice. Oh, our reverse is that Buffalon. Always like a reverse normal. And our rare is a Cherim to go with all those cher Oh! Oh, it's hollow! Ah, oh, they made Cherim a hollow? That's really cute. That's, you know, Cherim, you, you go in places. You may not be competitively viable in pretty much any format you appear in. But you've got a hollow, and that's really nice. I like that. That's... Yeah, wasn't expecting that. That was very cute. Right, will our last pack be a psychic so we can, like... Have a perfect square of psychic energies. I'm I'm gonna assume not, but right. This is our last pack, and we end on something hype. I think every time I've said that in a video, we've never ended on anything hype. So I'm just gonna shut my mouth, and we're gonna get on with this matter of factly. Let's put that there. Oh, grass energy ruining the thing. Ugh, okay, whatever. We've got a spooper. Kind of cute. We ooh nice single strike style mustard. There we are. I've got both mustard cards now. Didn't realise there were two, but now I do. Oh yo, Golbat. Hello. It's been a while since I've seen a Golbat. He's he's looking massive. That that angle. We've got a Ponyard. A Houndo pulling that mountain again. That rapid style Shinx uh, walking on his hands. I don't know what he's expecting to do, but whatever. Gligar, gliding over some farm land. <laughs> Holy crap, why is that so, like, clean? Oh, that is really cool. I'm really digging that. That's, like, that's beautiful. Oh, my God. Spoink. That's, wow. Okay. Very cool. Oh, we've got... Oh, oh, it's a reverse. Sorry. Because it's dark, you can barely tell it's a reverse. And I was like, wait, we've pulled the rare? How did we... what? 
Yeah, that is a reverse, and it's not coming up very well on camera, unfortunately. I'll take that. Nice. Even shinier Galarian Slowbro. And our final card. Will it be... So Ooh, yes it will, boys! Yes it will! Okay. We've got a Rapid Strike style Empoleon V. Yo, one of the Pac-Mons as well. Very nice. Okay, I do know. I don't think I have an Empoleon. Oh, wait, no. I have one Empoleon card from, like, the tin. The Empoleon tin from years ago. Yo! Okay. You know, I mean, it, it's not a kind of... Um, it's not a super rare or full art or anything, but... I will take that. That card. I still... I love V cards, because of the blackboard and stuff, but that's really hype. Damn. We've had some really good cards today, I think. We've had, like... Three Vs out of uh, 14 cards and a couple like hollows and stuff as well And I'm gonna take one last look at it just to end the video because It's pretty hype. I know it's a lot not like super rare or anything, but we did manage to pull your boy from burning uh, No darkness ablaze Ah, uh, I'm just really happy with that pull. That's really cool right well there we go. I'm going to go sleeve that very quickly. I've realised I didn't actually have any sleeves on me. But thank you very much for watching. It's been fun. Um, I'm probably not going to do any Pokemon cards for a while now until, like, the next set comes out. I may pick things up now and then, but I like to kind of do big hauls as opposed to smaller videos. So, you know, it'll be a couple of weeks, but look forward to other things because I have a lot planned for the next coming weeks and months. And that about wraps it up, so thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye!